You know, there are a lot of benefits to having a rear window that pops open like this when you have a fur kid. Ain't that right, Andy? Can you move over, please? Excuse me. All right. Come on. Let's go. And, and come on. Thank you. And you are going to want to see what else this GX has to offer. So if you have some deep pockets, have a fur kid, like to go off-roading, or just simply want to drive a living room on wheels, this GX might be the perfect fit for you. So Andy, let's get to it. Now, when it comes to captain's chairs, there are a lot of benefits. One, it reduces the temptation to want to uh, jab your sibling in the rib cage. Two, way more comfortable for adults when compared to a bench seat. Look at the width of these things. Three, easy access to the third row. But as a dog owner, what I love best is it gives your dog sight lines to the front. Or you could easily check in on them and toss them a treat. Now you may have noticed the rear entertainment system, and I'm sure for kids at first glance, it's very exciting, but the screens are small and somewhat dated. And nowadays when phones look like this, I don't really think it's worth the money. What do you say, Andy? Let's take those headphones off. But either way, I do love the adjustability of these seats and the legroom is great. The cup holders in a great spot. They disappear when they're no longer in need, but they really don't accommodate anything big. When we tested the RX 450 HL, those cup holders, you could fit a Yeti, both my coffee mug and water jug. You already got the design, Lexus, so just swap it out and that would be a lot better. But speaking of cup holders, I gotta show you something in that third row. Normal cup holder here. But what is that? That's pretty shallow. Not sure what you'd put there. But since we're back here, let's check out this third row seat. In my opinion, it works fine every once in a while when you need that additional seat, but it's really not that comfortable and kind of reminds me of a jump seat you'd find on an airplane. Although they do recline electronically and the leg room is fantastic. Plus, Andy's bed actually fits here even with this seat up. Now, if you want a Lexus and you truly need a third row full time, I recommend looking at the LX570. We also tested that and the third row, much more comfortable in there. Same goes for space. When all the seats are up, very limited space in that rear. But with the push and hold of a button, they drop down and you get a lot more space. You can push them down from the side or the rear, not the front. That would be nice like we saw in the NX last week. But where this GX really shines when it comes to pets, vents, vents, vents. The AC is so powerful in here. With three zone climate, you can have the AC blasting back here, have a more comfortable temperature up front. And to top it off, I gotta show you something. And this outlet, I can't think of a better way to use it. And I think Andy would agree. Oh, how's that feel? Is it good? <laughs> now getting back to this window door combo, it opens like a refrigerator and look what's behind those little panels. Now, would I prefer a motorized button so the window could go up and down when driving? Yes, but that doesn't fully get in the way of what it offers. Yeah, I'll be right there. Let me just put this away real quick. Ugh, what's that smell? Ugh. Ugh. Great way to get those stenches out. You want me to get it now? Hold on, here it is. Is this what you wanted? You can watch the deer, but you can't chase them like this. Now, if that's not dog friendly enough for you, check this out. You have a step. It kind of acts as a staircase. Could be a huge asset helping your dogs get in and out, especially senior dogs. And even better, you can drop this thing. 
closer to the ground, making this tall rear feel not as tall anymore. And because of this design, I think it opens the door for those extra large dog breeds that we love. Right, Andy? Great Dane, Great Pyrenees. I think it could work. And with Andy's bed back here, it's pretty clear. She's comfortable, but what's it really feel like when we're driving on the road? Andy, let's take this thing for a drive. Now driving this kind of feels like a living room on wheels, a big old box. Now I was actually expecting more of a truck-like experience, and while there are hints of that, the comfort totally took me by surprise. Sometimes big SUVs make me feel kind of motion sick because they're a little bumpy, but this is so smooth. It's like you're gliding. You've got a 4.6 liter V8 engine, six speed automatic transmission with full time four wheel drive. It may not be the fastest, but this thing is a beast. And truthfully, if you're looking for something that can handle your extreme adventure, this GX is up for the job. Now, I don't have access to off-road terrain for this video, and there's actually a lot of other videos out there that demonstrate how this does, and it is actually quite exciting. But for $15.70, you can purchase the off-road package and get things like the craw, craw, like the crawl control function, which will automatically help you maintain the optimal speed and pace for varying terrains. It also has a multi-terrain monitor where you can actually see under your car. So let's say you're driving around rocks, you can kind of see what's going on down there. And multi-terrain select based on what kind of conditions you're driving in. Very helpful if you think about it. Sounds like a lot of fun. Maybe in a future video, we can get access to some good off-roading and uh, check that out. But for the purpose of this video, we're focusing more on comfort and of course, how dogs do in that back. And speaking of that, Andy girl, how are you doing? I think it's pretty safe to say she is an air conditioning heaven back there. She's got the best airflow, so comfortable, and that bed is on a nice flat floor. And this is really easy to drive. Even if you're not used to an SUV and you're more familiar with a crossover, unibody type design, visibility is really good. Plus these side mirrors are mega big. The higher position is kind of fun, but it's not so high that you need a running start to get in. Now you do have running boards, but I don't even feel like I need them. So if you're 5'2 like me or taller, I don't think you're gonna have any trouble entering or exiting. Now this is the luxury trim and it is pricey, starting at 64K. Once you add all the packages, you're upwards of 72 grand. The trim below this, the premium, starts $10,000 less. Now regardless of what you get, the safety features come standard and you get things like pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, high speed dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure alert, intelligent high beams, Plus, as you back up, you also have a bird's eye view, which is especially helpful. Parking sensors. And you have a dedicated camera button right here. Now, when it comes to this interior, it's got a blast from the past type feel and mostly the center. Yes, hard buttons are lovely, but it just looks dated, especially the screen. No Apple CarPlay, no Android Auto. Maybe we'll just call it retro. That's probably a nicer way to put it, but that might be too premature. This at least is a touch screen. However, does the average GX buyer really care about this? I think it might be split. If you're buying this purely for its off-road capabilities, probably not so much. But if you're a mom chauffeuring kids around and you bought this because you just love the way it looks on the outside, you love the space on the inside, I think an updated infotainment system would go a long way, attract more buyers, because this might be the one factor keeping someone from wanting to buy this aside from the price, of course. Now, when it comes to these seats, they are so comfortable. Lexus really shines in this category. And I love the adjustable armrest, along with its mega storage underneath. 
The headliner could also be drastically updated. It feels like those tights you put on your feet when you try new shoes on at the store. I know, Lexus, that you have Alcantara in other vehicles, and I really feel like you need to swap it out in here. That would definitely go a long way. Now, with that said, if you could look past some of this interior styling, this GX has great purpose. Great for dogs, great for off-roading. I mean, if you live in the mountains off the beaten path and you got the money to spend, I could totally see why you would want to get this. This GX just gives you this confidence that you could pretty much drive in any conditions and crush it. And when a vehicle makes you feel that way, paired with comfort and your dog's comfort, you got a winner in my book. So Andy, let's make it official. Is this lab approved? Totally lab approved. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click the bell so you know when our next video goes live. As always, follow Andy on Instagram to see pics of this GX all week. And we'll see you next time. Bye.